See, tough times become hard times. I actually read articles where there was a president of the United States at one time, uh, I think it was Theodore Roosevelt, but he actually was trying to sell potatoes to make a living at one time when one of his fellow officers came along to find him at a horrible time of famine and hardships, people trying to survive, and the cost was phenomenal for just a one egg or two eggs, you know, the banks had hyperinflated my, their money. My grandfather's passed away now, but he tried to impart with me some of the wisdom and difficulties of the financial depressions that were existed in back in those times. And he told me stories of when his mama would send him as a child to the store with just one dollar, a buck, right? A dollar. He'd be able to go to the store and he said that he'd be able to come back with five potatoes, uh, two loaves of bread, three bottles of milk, a hunk of cheese, you know, a box of tea, and six eggs. And he says, now you cannot do that now. And I'm like, wow. And I said, looking and seeking for his wisdom, I said, well, Papa, can you tell me a bit more about this? I mean, how is it you're able to get it? and be able to do these things. And he looked at me and said, Oh, you can't do that now. I said, I know. The government has gone to shit. Everything's gone to hell in a handbasket. He said, No, 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 that's not it. I thought, Okay, I'm going to get some really good advice here. He said, No, no. It's said, Back then, there, there was no fucking security cameras. My crazy ass grandpa. <laughs> but seriously, we live in a fucking state of ridiculousness, man. Where we're, we're being dragged down by the cost of things and we're only seeing the, the beginnings of the difficulty you know did the depression exist in many times oh sure it did and other times too when we try to use this commerce tool in the corrupt fashion that is being used as instead of the tool that it was meant to be once the government don't no longer prints their money and we give it to private bankers a whole section of the, the pie that's been created big piece of it goes to them and we get a little incident city little fucking piece of the pie to split between all of us stupid asses you know what can you say you know we didn't know we had ignorance and there were people that held down truths and they kept the people you know and, and people were ignorant they didn't, now you can't say that everybody's becoming educated kids are coming out of school they all know how to read and write and mathematic skills and whatnot with the help of the internet more truths are coming out, more argument of facts, things that the media are even slipping up and portraying and allowing out. And thankfully, people like WikiLeaks that comes forward to allow us to see and hear some of the real atrocities and throw out a mass of information to be questioned on and, and see the, the inequities, the lies that they keep perceiving upon us and whatnot over the wars that continue to go on. Hello, my friends. I just wanted to show you a glimpse of my birth certificate and show you how I know that we are portrayed as commerce from birth. As you can clearly see by the circle going around stating Canadian banknote that the day I was born, I became a value to the country and they had money created, borrowed against the private banks in the understanding that one day I would make a certain quota of money, minimal, to pay back that debt. And by doing so, I became a Canadian banknote. My very bir own birth certificate that was created is a Canadian banknote. I mean, for fuck's sakes, man. Okay, you, you're living in the United States, and your baby is just born, and you have to tell your child that, hey, I'm sorry, my love, but you're already $51,000 in debt. And by the time you turn 18, it'll probably be much, much higher. Since you'll never be able to pay it off and you'll always be in debt. And because of it, they'll just keep cutting back health care, education, anything that's beneficial, all programs, anything that helps the people. It'll all come back. Sorry. It's fucking bullshit, people! Come on! And here in Canada, it's fucking about 17000 per person. I mean, fuck sakes, man, your, your baby's born, and if you're a family of five, well, <laughs> you've just put yourself in debt for $51,000. already in debt, fifty fucking $1,000 for having three children. Because each individual person that's added owns a piece of that pie on that crate, great fucking created debt. 
right this instant. Right now. Like, fuck, come on, this is bullshit. If people see this fucking video in five years' time from now, they'll be going, no, 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 no. It's much higher than that now. Fuck, we're $100,000 in debt in the United States, and Canada is fucking 50 or 60 that We're catching up fast, though. It's bullshit, people. Come on! Start the fucking party. That is the only way. I cannot see any other way, because you can never even get the people in you need. They buy all the politicians. They own everything. George Carlin has tried to say it many times to everybody. We're fucked, okay? We're fucked. The only way I can see, this is an opportunity. This is the answer. Some kind of solution. No, it's not perfect. Yeah, there'll be fucking problems, but you know what? There's mountains and hills on everything to climb. And as long as you don't give up and you keep moving forward, then people will start to gain momentum. We'll become educated in understanding our own system. We'll actually have a word, an under a yes or no choice. We can even make majorities 75, 80%. We can create new constitutions, new charter rights to protect the minorities from the majorities. To, that we can make more protection upon ourselves again and take back ourselves and our protections and whatnot. This is fucking ridiculous, my brothers and sisters. Please, don't keep doing this. I'm begging you. I don't know what else to say. Fucking circles, that's what we're doing, because people keep talking about it, but nothing's happening. But there is, actually, knowledge. People are sharing it, and the word's getting out. More and more and more, there's less ignorant people, but there's still a huge amount. Fuck everything. Trying to change 
you know, I would like to see legalization of cannabis and all drugs, and I would like to see, you know, so many different changes in our systems that keep being cut back, and I'd like to see Bank of Canada, and I'd like to see all of these things, but nothing, nothing will be changed. You'll fight your tooth and nail off like poor Mark Emery. They threw his ass in jail. Rick Simpson saving fucking lives, thousands of people from dying of cancer, and now the, 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 that knowledge is spread out, they can't stop it, it's like a virus itself, the knowledge that, yes, if you eat the cannabis oil, you can cure cancers, you can back up the fucking time on diabetes and a lot of diseases, live a normal life again, I'm one with irritable bowel syndrome, changed my life, I can't even say enough, but you know what, None of these things can be changed until we create the party to create our own government system called direct democracy. Because it's fucking time the people have a say. Or they're going to stupid us all the way down until we're monkeys or we'll have the intelligence to run the machines but have no idea how to fucking fix them. For the love of God, please people, come to fucking get her. Take some of this knowledge and run with it. Somebody out there, learn this. I have no idea how to make it happen myself. I do know that I'm going to have to start pushing forward myself on it and try to figure it out because I don't know what else to do. There's nobody else. I'm all alone on this. And I do not have money. I have eight grandchildren, soon to have ten. We're always just on the edge of finances, and I'm okay with that. I don't give a shit. Survivability is very important to me, and commerce is not going to be survivability when it comes down to in the end. You ain't gonna be able to eat your motherfucking money. You need to learn a huge, you need to learn a huge amount of survival tactics and necessary survival when the shit hits the fan. And if it, if it ever does, I do not know if it will in my lifetime. Anyway, anyway, enough said. Direct democracy, my friends. For the love of all that's pure, good, and please, if you want to take the clock back and start giving the money back to the people, and paying this debt for real off. It's compound interest debt. My God, when you pay huge chumps of money on your trillions in debt, you're just covering the interest, and a smidgen of principle if you're pushing your people, and cutting all your fucking benefits. Anyway, I'm done. I'm out. God bless all of you.